All right, y'all. So today we are going to be hopefully fixing the backup power for my Chamberlain MyQ belt drive garage door opener. As you can see, it has the battery backup, but the battery backup is not working. So if you walk over here to the controller, it says that the battery is full. So since the battery is full, if you unplug the garage door opener, which is right here, then if I walk over here, the door should open. So that's telling me that the fault is going to be with the garage door opener backup battery. So let's get that replaced. To get it out, you just grab up top here and just give it a little pull pull it down sorry for the glare but this is going to be where the back of battery is and we just need a, a phillip head screwdriver or you can do a flat head as well so let's get that out it is thundering i don't know if y'all can hear it but it is just thundering it's a little hard out outside so we're going to get that out and then there we have the battery and the battery just has those two connectors there so we're just going to wiggle these off and they are color coordinated. So of course red is going to be positive, black is going to be negative, smaller battery. So I have the battery that I ordered off Amazon here in this box. Let me open it up and let's make sure that it is roughly the same size. I was about to, yeah, no, it's the same size. Same size battery, same height everything so it should be same for same pop those caps off the terminals are on the same side so that shouldn't be a problem this was manufactured in uh, 2017 so this battery is seven years old I don't know when it died but the power went out a few weeks ago and that's when I figured out it didn't work so periodically check them before the power goes out let's get it hooked up and let's see if the backup function is restored New battery hooked up, plugged in, very uneventful. Uh, when I plugged it in, it did have a beep. I guess the beep is saying that the power has been restored. I don't know, maybe. And we are going to just slowly slide it in there. All right, so let's go over to the keyboard. It is saying that it is charging. So I guess the battery came about half full, so let's verify that the issue was solved so we're going to unplug it walk over here ah running can i light it up okay it says running on battery operator light disabled alert you can kind of see it that thunder is thundering good god let's press the button to see if it works all right, so the backup power is now restored and this is running just off of the battery itself, hence the slow movement. The power cord is unplugged, running just on battery power. All right, so that is up. And then, like I said, still on battery power. And it is going down. So if you have a garage door opener and if you unplug it and it does not work and it has a backup battery in it, you just need to replace the backup battery. Uh, I did buy the new battery off of Amazon and I will put the link in the description below for the battery for the Chamberlain belt drive, Wi-Fi, MyQ, uh, one and a quarter horsepower whisper drive. And the link in the description will be a Amazon affiliate uh, link. So if you do use it, I will get just a little bit of proceeds from it, but it costs you nothing else. So now that it is back and plugged up, running off of house power, we hit the button and it comes up at normal speed, which is about probably twice, if not three times faster than the battery speed. But of course, house power is 120, the battery is 12 volts. So then we close it, and there it goes. So if you're having this issue, 
you know, if you have a screwdriver and two hands that halfway work and a safe, something safe to step up on to get to it, you can do this uh, for about $20 and 10 minutes of your time. But if you're not able to do it, call a professional. They shouldn't charge too much. You know, if they provide the battery, I'm thinking probably $150, $200. Because I'm curious on what they would charge to do something this easy. Until next time, think, build, enjoy. In this case, we thought it was not working. We thought we could fix it. We fixed it. And now if the power goes out from all this thundering and these storms we're having, then we can enjoy it since we'll be able to get in and out of the garage. So, until next time, peace.